All the recent center channel speaker reviews that I have done have been going bananas on YouTube. So I thought why not add more into the mix. So I'm coming up with more center channel speaker reviews and today we have the JBL 520 CBK. Let's divide this video into three sections. Section number one, let's unbox this and in the process I'll tell you about some major specifications. And in section number two, we will go over all the specifications in very detail. And I will also show you some close-up shots of the speaker from various angles. In section three, I will tell you more about how good this performed. I compared this with some high-end speakers and I also compared this with some low-end speakers and I will tell you more about how well this held up against all that competition. Please watch this video till the end because I have a very good surprise in the end with a special speaker coming up. Before we get started, I want to get a couple of things out of the way. Number one, this is not a sponsored video. I paid money from my own pocket and bought this. Number two, because I've been buying a lot of speakers and reviewing them, I would really appreciate a few thumbs up and if you consider subscribing, that would be really, really great. As usual, I also have a top view for you because top view is the best angle to view unboxing. So here we go. So let's get started with the unboxing, however, JBL wants us to cut the box from the side and there is not enough room here for the top view, so I may need to trim some of that shots, but I'll try my best to show you cutting the box part. So as shown here, JBL wants us to cut this part of the box and then invert it and pull the box out. So it looks like there is something here, there's a small box. I'm going to set this aside for now. I am going to put this on the floor and then take it out of the box and put it on the table. So there is the box and here is the speaker. Let's cut this box and see what's in it. This by the way is a two-way design. It has two four-inch drivers and there is a one-inch tweeter in the center. So it came with this plastic piece. There are actually two pieces. So this is one of them. This is what it looks like. And there is another one. And there is a plastic piece here. I think this will be used to unclip these plastic pieces if they are attached to the speaker. I'll show you how it's done. And then if you're putting the speaker on a table or a flat surface, you can use these bumpers. Now let's get the speaker out. That actually looks very nice. There's another angle for you. And then there is the back. This weighs 16 and a half pounds. And there is the JBL logo. This is a two-way horn-loaded compression driver center loudspeaker and it has dual four inch polyplast cast basket low frequency transducers. It has a one inch compression driver with Tionex diaphragm. The frequency response is 60 Hertz to 40 kilohertz. The sensitivity is 88 decibels. The power handling is 150 watts. The impedance for the speaker is six ohms and it has five-way gold-plated binding posts with bi-wire capability, as you can see here. JBL is owned by Harman, and they have the Harman logo here as well. These are basically the horn covers. To attach the horn covers, we must remove the grill first. According to JBL's manual to remove this grill, you have to start prying them from the ends. So let's try and do that. This is where that little tool that they had supplied in the box comes in handy. 
so it is lifting up a little bit I'm gonna hold this with one of my fingers and pry another area and now you can simply lift the grill and that just comes away like so and there is one of the woofers this is the four inch woofer that I was talking about and now on to the other side you can remove the grill on the other side in a similar fashion so pry away from the ends here and then simply lift the grill up and they can simply be removed like so that actually looks pretty decent now let's attach these horn covers they're both the same so I don't think there's a left or right side so the manual says fit this tab into the hole and then fit these into the slots here these are the bumpers that will go into these slots so the instructions are just two lines and now it is in I just needed to apply a little bit more pressure so the tabs go in like so and then apply a little bit of pressure this side is a little bit harder okay now it's in and then just push it in and the tabs are in the bumpers are in the slots and this is now ready to go let me know in the comment section if you like the speaker with the horn covers or with the grill and now the final section I tested the speaker out and it actually sounds very good where does this stand in comparison to a more expensive speaker my favorite or one of my favorite ones is the SPS Prime Center the review is right here if you want to see that it is as loud as the SBS Prime Center. Both the speakers, I was only able to get to around 33% on my receiver. If I cranked up the volume beyond 33%, it was a bit too loud. This as well as the SBS Prime Center. So this can play loud. Now the dialogue clarity, if I just close my eyes and just listen to the SBS Prime Center, and then I listen to this one, this is right up there. SPS Prime Center's clarity is obviously a little bit better because it's more expensive, a bigger driver, better build quality and stuff like that. But this is not far behind for the price. So SPS Prime Center, for example, is $400. This one on Amazon, I saw it for $250. So the price is a factor here. Now, whether you would be willing to compromise that little bit of extra sound clarity, you might have to take that into consideration. But this is pretty good off axis response so what happens if you sit off axis and not just in the center that is where this lags a little bit behind it is a two-way design so we have to remember that we have to cut a little bit of slack for this guy a two-way design speaker is almost always gonna have that limitation off axis people who don't sit in the center are not gonna have the same clarity in dialogues overall if I were to start a new home theater I would definitely consider this I also compared this with a low-end speaker like the Yamo. The review for that also is coming up pretty soon and I will link it here when it's ready, but for now it's not ready. By the way, I have done a lot of center channel speaker reviews and there's a playlist I'm gonna add here. I have a lot of views on the speaker reviews that I'm doing, but I usually don't request my YouTube viewers to subscribe and YouTube doesn't like me, it looks like. So I would really appreciate if this video and these videos that I'm gonna link in this playlist here, if they are useful to you, please consider subscribing and a thumbs up and your comments are always welcome. And here is a teaser for the next video. I have a brand new unopened SVS Ultra Center. This is a bit heavy, but unboxing and review for this coming pretty soon. So if you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing.